Hey guys, welcome back to Story Behind the Story. I'm your host, Ben Whitney, and this week we have Tristan with us who did a story on the Maryville softball season. So yep. talk a little bit about that. I know that they weren't even sure they were going to have a season in the first place because of all these COVID complications. Yeah, talking to the coach, uh, going into the summer, they didn't get to do much due to COVID and stuff. And then at the beginning of their season, they had multiple different starters go down into quarantine due to close contact with uh, COVID. And they ended up scrambling, trying to practice at the beginning of the season, trying to figure out how to even manage the season with multiple girls going down. So they had several seniors who this was their last season and now they're headed out. So what 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 did they feel leaving and how'd they feel about this last season? Um, I didn't get to talk to every single senior, but I know I did one of them I did talk to was Briley Watkins. And uh I think one of the major things they took away from the season was they have a big like family atmosphere with that team, talking to the coach, talking to a couple of the players they all preach family there. And so I think one of the main things that they all took away was that they just loved how this team was so together. Everybody was together. Briley even talked about how when one of them went down over the season, every, every girl picked their back, picked each other back up. It wasn't just one person. It, everybody was together. And I think they're also really excited to see, as they move on, they're excited to see the other girls come up through the grades and Yet again, Briley was talking about how one of the, a lot of the girls coming up are already showing to be really good leaders for the team. So I think overall they were just excited to have this season and be able to actually play their senior season. Right, exactly. So what, what did uh, DeMott have to say in terms of, of next season? Does she think that those, those people will be able to come up and, and kind of fit into those mm -hmm. starting roles that are now open? Yeah, she said they have a couple good prospects coming up in the next year's freshman class. They returned both of their infielders, so they'll be good there. Both of those, both of them will be juniors, and they have two seniors coming up this year, uh, Cross and Graham. Both of them will be seniors this year looking to play more and take over those leadership roles. But she felt pretty confident, and one of the big things she mentioned was that they're going to focus they're going to focus a lot on improving their win-loss record mm -hmm. so the record this year was six and eleven they got uh, knocked out unfortunately in the first round um, but you know it, it seemed like like demont was talking a lot more about the the importance of like you said getting to have a season and what was kind of that mindset and attitude as they're going going through the season and, and playing those games i think they really just she talked about early on in the season it was definitely a struggle for them to get locked in and get mentally into the game because especially in high school that's a big part of any sport in high school is kind of staying focused with schoolwork and everything being able to transition from school to go into playing sports so with COVID hindering them from practicing a lot in the summer it was hard for them to get locked in and that's why they dropped seven of their first eight games but after that they ended up having a winning record right. on their last eight games mm -hmm. of five and three they started hitting the ball well, they found their lineup that worked. They just, heading into districts, faced a really good Macon Tigers team, so. Yeah, for sure. Well, thank you, Tristan. Thanks for sitting down with me this week, and thank you guys for joining us. We'll see you next week here on Story Behind the Story.